that I have made it to Los Angeles. So I started at three o'clock this afternoon in Rochester and then we've been chasing the sun all day flying in the same direction as the sun so that means that the day has been really really long the sun was faster though it won it got here before us and went down and now it's night so right now it is 11 o'clock after 11 o'clock on Monday night and here in Los Angeles it's only 8 o'clock so because the sun is not as far gone so I am going to keep flying and uh, but this is it for today not very super exciting uh, I have spent let me see one hour flying from Rochester to Washington DC and the president wouldn't see me it was so sad I didn't even see the White House just the airport and then from Washington DC to Los Angeles was five hours in a plane so that's a lot of sitting here's my here's my question for you I am about to go on my next flight to Australia and it is six uh, 15 15 hours from Los Angeles to Sydney now I have to sit in one seat for 15 hours I'm probably gonna sleep too and uh, but I wonder, how long do you sit in your seat at school each day? How many hours is that? And then how many days would it take for you to get to 15 hours? Okay, so I'd like to see your answers in the comments. There's a little bit of math there, but I think you can do it because you're pretty good at math. And I will see you when I, well, when I get to the other side of the Pacific Ocean. And, uh, or maybe before then, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, in the air, above the Pacific Ocean. It's a big ocean. All right, uh, sleep well, not in class though, and I'll see you later.